Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Talal Khan here. And today we discuss an example on the SOP and pause form. I take one example and I solve it on both the SOP and the pause forms. Okay? So that would be uh, clear to understand. Example. All right, so let me take a three variables, three variables, function A, B, and C. So eight possible input combinations, five, six, seven, eight. Then a group of twos. And then a group of fours. All right, so these are the input combinations, A, B, and C, and the function's value now. Let's say the function given is Y, and the function's value is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. All right, and we have to solve this by both the pause and the sop forms. All right, so we study the sop form first. So let's say we solve through the sop first. Sop form. All right, let me take the colors. So in this sub form, we said that we uh, take those terms where the function's value is 1. So it's 1 over here, it's 1 over here, over here, over here, and over here. So this one is the main term M0, this is M2, this is M3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Alright, so this function y could be written this function y could be written as a summation of the mean terms 0, 2, 3, 6, 7. 0, 2, 3, 6, and 7. All right? Now, if you can solve it by yourself, pause the video and try and then check. All right? If you can't, come with me. Okay. So, now this y is what? This would be, this is 0, all of them are 0, so A complement, B complement, C complement. Then we have R, A complement, B, C complement. Then we have A complement, B, C. Then we have A, B, C complement. And then all of them are high so a b and c all right so this we wrote is the standard canonical form standard or canonical sum of product form <coughs> now we reduce them by using the rules of boolean algebra so if you see we have a complement b common in these two and we have a b common in the last two okay the first one remains as it is A, B, C plus C complement. Now we know that C plus C complement is what? Uh, so let me use the red color for this um, soft form. C plus C complement is 1 and anything ended with 1 is A again. So this Y would be A complement, B complement, C complement plus A complement B plus A B. All right, now we have B common in these two. So Y is equal to A complement, B complement, C complement plus A complement plus A into B. This is again one and one into B is B again. 
so y would be equal to so let me write over here so that we can write the false form over here so we don't need to rub it so come here now y would be equal to a complement b complement c complement plus b okay so we study the property here that a plus a complement b is equal to a plus b so if we treat this b as the a so we have the value of the function y is equal to uh, b uh, plus a complement C complement and this is the minimal or minimal sub form minimal sub form this one is the canonical sub form all right let me check yes it's uh, correct now we use the pause form number two is the pause form the product of some form so in the product of some form we see where the function's value is zero and we see the mix max term for that so this is m1 m4 and m5 so we can write this function y as a product as an and operation of the max terms which one? 1, 4, and 5. 1, 4, and 5. All right. 1, 4, and 5. Now, how do we do it? So, this y is now equal to max term number 1 is a plus b plus c complement. C is 1, so that's why it's c complement. Then m4 is into a complement plus B plus C is that fine yes then we have a complement plus B plus C complement so these are the three max terms okay this that we've written is what is the canonical sub form is the canonical pause form okay you know that no need to write so canonical pause form now uh, how do we simplify it have a look over here we have the a complement plus b common so if i use the property a plus b into a plus c the distributive law i believe a plus b into a plus c is a plus b c okay I'm using this so this would be what this will remain as it is a plus b plus c complement times a complement plus b plus c into c complement now c into c complement is zero c into c complement is zero we know that <coughs> all right now what's the function value let me write over here y is a plus b plus c complement into a complement plus b all right this b again using the same property a plus b into a plus c this one again so we get what this function is equals to a plus b into a plus c equals to a plus b c so this is a complement into an a complement plus c no 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 this is not an a complement plus c this is an a plus c complement all right now if you open this up so this would be what b plus a into a complement and plus a complement c complement now we've seen again and again that a into a complement is a zero so the value of the function is what y is equal to b plus a complement c complement 
and again using the distributive law a plus b into c is equal to a plus b into a plus c distributive law implies what that the function who is equal to y is and I rearrange it as well so it would be a complement uh, plus b into b complement plus c and this one is the final result I believe let me check first in the book yes this is the minimal pause form so this is the minimal sub form this is the minimal pause form for the same truth table all right so i believe this one example is enough for the clearance of concepts you see the book you solve examples and if you have any questions you may ask uh, i will be ending this lecture over here see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you goodbye